Uh, my name is Sergeant David Andrew Irvin. I'm here to go introduce myself and my kids. I've been away 18 months, and uh, we're going to surprise them today. They have no idea that we're gonna, I'm going to be doing this, so it's going to be really exciting. Frozen. Is that Dad Dad? Come on, you can come in. Go oh, get him. Hi. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> oh, girl. Hello, wife. Hi. Turn around. Is that Daddy? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Daddy? <laughs> she holding on tight? Yeah. <laughs> you right, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, is that daddy? Yeah. Uh, Karina, what's that? U.S. Navy Commander Steve Murdoch has been deployed for the last year in South Africa and decided to surprise his son Riley during his Michigan High School graduation ceremony. Just following you. So proud of you, buddy. I was just basically staring straight forward at the guy who's giving out diplomas. And I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on? Oh my God. <laughs> The touching moment was Steve's idea, and WDIV was there behind the scenes before the big moment. Pretty excited, I'm a little nervous. It's uh, hard uh, peeking through the curtain there and seeing him sing and hearing his voice and stuff like that. It's pretty awesome. The Navy dad emailed the Romeo High School principal beforehand to set it all up, and only two people knew about the surprise leading up to the day. We're sure traveling 30 hours for that surprise was worth it. And it's a moment that Riley and his dad will never forget. Don't forget to watch Inside Edition. My name is Master Sergeant David Sims, U.S. Air Force. I've just come home from a six-month deployment in Afghanistan, and I'm here today with the Atlanta Braves to surprise my family. I'm very excited and very nervous. Uh, my family doesn't know what's going on, and so I'm looking forward to seeing the expressions of surprise on their faces. This is Master Sergeant David Sells, U.S. Air Force, assigned to headquarters ISAF in Afghanistan. I want to send out my greetings to all my family there, especially to my wife, Robin, and my kids, and to my son, Riley, and all the families that I'm with. I'm excited to be with you again. In fact, wait one minute.
Toy Story 2? I don't know. Do you want to know why we're all here? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> here, put it in. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 the camera, that's not fair. <laughs> Do you want to put the topper on it? I just put my vacation with Weston to come see you when I... <laughs> Do you want to know how long we knew that he was coming home? Three weeks. Three weeks I kept a secret from you. So heavy. Oh. oh, that's such a big surprise. <laughs> when did you get home? Uh, there was oh, but we had to get everything now. ready. Oh, I put it in How did you get that? <laughs> we oh, built it. We built it in there. <laughs> you got even handsome. This yeah. is even a even handsome kid. Yeah, he brought his own boy. <laughs> <laughs> You want to get out of the box? You want to get back in the box? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you doing, Mike? I'm good. Uh, you good. Can get like <laughs> A school in Oak Harbor was part of a top secret military assignment today. It involved hiding a chief from the military and sneaking him around from classroom to classroom. Combo Force Lindsay Cohen reports by the end of the day, it was mission accomplished. Well, we'll get you in there to see him. It's been two decades since Eric Wynn was last called to the principal's right office. There, the first door there on the right. This time, though, it's by choice. I'm on mission right now. The senior chief in the Navy has spent the better part of 20 years serving overseas and launching his latest top secret mission. I'm being told what to do today, <laughs> which is good. I don't mind that at all. He decided to go back to school. It will be a forever moment, won't it be? We don't have those too often, do we? 
This is Wynn's son, Elijah, a 13-year-old at Oak Harbor Middle School. 26 of the 29 students in his class come from military families. Get to see him again, a little nervous, you know, and, and he's going to feel a little nervous. So when this family learned Eric would be on last minute leave from Bahrain. Let's go ahead and do this. They decided to surprise not just one student, but all of them. Oh, my God. This may be an eighth grade language arts class. Hey, buddy. But today they're getting a lesson in love. Surprise. Okay. It's super emotional. Um, it's just very exciting to get to see Eric surprise Elijah like this. You doing okay? Yeah. How's your grades? Good. Elijah Wynn entered school today thinking he'd have class and then a basketball game. Okay. That's all I need. Turns out now his biggest cheerleader will be right there in the stands next to him. Uh, he's my biggest fan, um, and uh, I'm his hero, and that's what dads are supposed to be. Did I surprise you? Yes. In Oak Harbor, Lindsay Cohen, Como 4 News. Eric Wynn has actually been home since Saturday, but he kept a low profile to keep today's visit a surprise. He's on leave until the 31st when he returns for what will likely be his final tour of duty. Is for one local military family, a nearly year-long deployment ended with a trip to school. Take a look at the reunion at Indian Knoll Elementary this afternoon. Dominic and Ryan Judson thought it was just another assembly, but look at there. That's dad, and teachers and principal. We're in on the surprise. Staff Sergeant Lyle Judson deployed to Djibouti, Africa last June, making for one long separation. Oh, oh man. They went to church. I used to get a phone call. We Skyped and Facebooked each other and stuff. So they were off. I got to see him. So it was exciting. So. Very exciting. Judson first reunited with his wife and two year old daughter at Hartsfield Jackson Airport this morning, and then they drove on up to the school, and the boys were pretty much in shock. <laughs>